um, then you know at some point really what you're doing is capital allocation. So you're, you're not it's not money for personal expenditures. It's it, what you're doing is, is capital allocation, and it, it does not make sense to take uh, the the job of capital allocation away from people who have demonstrated great skill in capital allocation and give it to uh, you know an entity that has demonstrated very poor skill in in capital allocation, which is the government. Uh, I mean, you can think of the government essentially uh, as a corporation in the limit. Uh, it, it is, it is a, the government is simply the biggest corporation with a monopoly on violence, and with and where you have no recourse. Can so, how much money do you want to give part? that entity? Preach! MFR is spitting right there, and I, I couldn't agree more with those statements with him. But he's also the same person that's planning on implanting people with brain chips soon. So, yeah. There is uh, that. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukradowski. If we are change.org, we got a lot of important news to get into surrounding the singularity, the metaverse, and the, the latest transhumanist news that, of course, your technocratic overlords don't want you knowing about. We're going to be getting into that. The latest population control talking points by the World Economic Forum that, surprisingly, Elon Musk is fighting against. All of that, plus a lot more on this independent media broadcast, and with so much news we're just gonna jump right into it as of course we have a new chancellor of germany that just decided to omit so help me god in his oath of office as he becomes the first non-religiously affiliated chancellor of germany this as germany is becoming more of a godless place where jack boot thugs have recently been seen manhandling an elderly lady because she didn't have her identification and medical records in order, which gave her, of course, this crazy interaction with order-following ruthless thugs that lectured her and punished her because she didn't have the right government permission to be outside. This, of course, is all about the new normal, the 2030 vision, the build back better future that has been envisioned by many of these leaders pushing forwards these discriminatory policies that, of course, don't just affect Germans, but also Italians. As another video came out of an elderly lady in Italy being denied access to public transportation because she didn't have a mobile phone that showed a, quote, green pass. And this is your future. Brainless, unethical order followers disrupting your day, hurting you in many ways because they're following decrees that essentially have you needing permission from the government to be able to just move around. That society is absolutely absurd and one that I refuse to live in, but when people keep complying, this is of course coming here to the United States as already similar policies have been implemented in major cities. This, as of course, there's also an IQ crisis hitting the United States, even according to The Guardian, very surprisingly, that wrote an article that was entitled, quote, we're losing IQ points, the lead poisoning crisis unfolding amongst US children, detailing how young Americans all throughout this country are dealing with record high lead levels, which of course have negative effects on IQ, intelligence, people's ability to pay attention, and of course, academic achievement. Gee, I wonder why there's chemicals in our environment that are lowering our intelligence. This, as of course, there's a large censorship effort currently underway of a court proceeding that involves a government-run international trafficking and extortion operation which Twitter just banned the lead account that was giving us all the latest updates that were, of course, in the public interest. They, of course, just made a backup account on trial-tracker that people are following and, and most likely will get banned soon after this. Why is Twitter taking down important updates surrounding the court proceedings of someone that has been deemed the architect of this larger international extortion operation? This as new photos and evidence emerge, highlighting some prominent individuals like the editor of the Daily Mail, individuals like the Rothschilds, the Gores, the Comos, the Diamond the Bransons. Why get rid of this very important account for the benefit of the public interest right now? 
Well, of course, I think that question is very obvious. And another reason why we have built LukeUncensored.com. We did a very important video yesterday. We're going to be doing yet another video for you exclusively later on today. And we also wanted to remind you that members of this platform also get access to limited edition t-shirts that are our official uniform. You can only get it by being subscribed to LukeUncensored.com. Otherwise, you should still check out our normal store, TheBestPoliticalShirts.com. The link is down below as we are releasing new shirts almost every day now. As recently, we just released the Trauma-Based Mind Control Variant t-shirt, as well as the I Am Science Dr. Fauci Emperor Palpatine Zapping Some Monkeys and puppies shirt which is sure to raise some very interesting conversations which you could exclusively get on the best political shirts.com and there's a reason i named it the best political shirts.com because it is the best political shirts.com we strive to please and do the job better than almost anyone else in our industry, and we have been absolutely kicking some major butt. Help us kick more butt by supporting us by just simply buying a t-shirt, socks, hats, beanies, cell phone cases, yoga mats, you name it, we got it, all exclusively on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. Items are selling out. Get them before they do. And seriously, there's no better way to support us and to get the word out to the general public than by getting a t-shirt and wearing it out to the general public or a sweater. This is activism one-on-one. -on -one. This is branding. This is getting the message out to the general public and fighting the larger culture war and getting activated and involved on many different levels. TheBestPoliticalShirts.com. Click the link down in the description below. You're, you're going to have to wear a t-shirt anyway. Might as well wear one that actually gets a message out there to the general public that might wake people up. Now, jumping into our main topic for this particular video, I, of course, wanted to talk about Elon Musk, who earlier on in the beginning of this broadcast was talking about the need to end government subsidies. When he specifically mentioned how the government is is the biggest corporation with the sole monopoly of violence and he is absolutely correct on that sentiment but we also have to understand that Elon Musk was also one of the largest recipients of a lot of government money now his statements come as the federal government is planning on investing more money into electric vehicles and to electric batteries which of course would mean a direct competition to the market that he has already gained but is Elon Musk saying this because he really believes this or is he saying this because of market competition well it's it's honestly hard to tell with a lot of very eye-opening statements from elon musk recently that are absolutely important and go against the larger narratives that are usually pushed on by the ruling establishment. Elon Musk also recently came out and said that civilization is going to crumble if people don't have more children. The current status quo establishment narrative is that people should have less children. We saw this idea promoted by the corporate media. We see this idea promoted by individuals like Bill Gates and a lot of other top-notch globalists that are pushing this larger idea of population control, which a lot of powerful people are trying to push on and propagate. Elon Musk is doing the opposite of that. And when it comes to this particular argument, I do believe he, again, hits another home run here with a very important message that people should understand, should argue, should debate, should have larger conversations on, as, of course, the population of the Western world is going down dramatically, and there will be some very significant effects because of that. This, as, of course, we have the opposite propaganda from institutions like the World Economic Forum that pull the strings of many people powerful corporations, many powerful politicians, and institute their policy, which of course is a policy of population reduction. As one of their recent spokespersons recently said, that pretty much all the world problems are stemming from too much people in this world and that we need to go to a population that existed on the world 500 years ago. What well, was the population 500 years ago? 461 million people around, again, 500 million, which is also the similar sentiment pushed on by the Georgia Guidestones. 
The World Economic Forum wants to push population control along with their 2030 agenda where you will have no privacy, you will own nothing, and you will be happy with, of course, very vague talking points and assessments that have been labeled Build Back Better. The Biden administration has been implementing a Build Back Better plan and system that, of course, goes along with the larger asks and procedures of the World Economic Forum. Elon Musk is also against the Build Back Better plan and has been screaming against it, saying that it pushes excessive laws, saying that it pushes subsidies, regulations, and rules that creates huge problems, while of course warning about economic ramifications of literally printing $3 trillion out of thin air. That of course is a major consequence, that of course is a major problem, saying that a lot of these provisions would of course help the very powerful and of course screw over the very poor. This as of course there's also a provision for electric cars in the, this bill, which of course would go to Tesla's competitors and to companies like Toyota rather than his Tesla. Also, very interestingly, Elon Musk has been officially living under one of the major provisions of the Build Back Better Great Reset World Economic Forum plan, and that is, of course, people not owning anything, especially private real estate, as, of course, Elon Musk recently also just officially owns no home as he just sold his California Silicon Valley $30 million mansion and now he is renting properties everywhere he goes. This as it's one of his pledges to help the environment which he allegedly cares so much about that he publicly criticized Bitcoin mining for allegedly hurting the planet. This, of course, made many people point out the fact that the production of, of batteries is... uh not good for the planet as well, but uh, Elon Musk's public stance against Bitcoin in order to help reduce carbon emissions in order to, quote, allegedly help the environment has, of course, negatively impacted the price of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and essentially created a very negative consequence for decentralized cryptocurrencies that are outside of the U.S. Federal Reserve's control, overall having a very negative impact and crashing the market in the moment of that statement. This, as also Elon Musk, recently made a statement that he is confident that the FDA will soon approve human testing with brain chips in 2022 because according to Elon Musk's Neuralink standards for quote implementing the device are higher than what the FDA requires this as just a few weeks ago Elon Musk's Neuralink showed a video of a monkey using a brain chip that was implemented by the company to play video games just with the monkey's own thoughts. This, of course, is a huge advancement towards transhumanism, an idea of where human beings become more like machines, robots being more integrated into the current technological smart grids that some people are already choosing themselves to be integrated with, as in Sweden. There's reports of individuals voluntarily injecting themselves with microchips to be compliant with domestic passport restriction track trace and database larger social credit score systems that local governments have implemented all throughout Europe. Now the fact that people are willingly injecting themselves with government permission slips, the fact that Elon Musk is at the head of creating, developing, and implementing microchip technology that will interface with your brain that will not only have access to the outside world, but the outside world having access to you signals some very significant larger consequences, especially when it comes to these larger concepts and ideas of the metaverse and singularity. We're living in a crazy day and age with very vast superior technological advancements that are creating realities that we have never thought possible before. This idea could of course be contextualized as the technological singularity or simply a point in time where humanity is going towards where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible. This of course will usher in huge changes to human civilization which many powerful elitist people believe will create a situation that will save us from death. And when I mean us, I mean 
the technocrats, the billionaire globalist class, the very powerful people in this world that will essentially be empowering themselves with godlike authority over, of course, everyone else, which many elites consider useless eaters. This, of course, is a part of a greater plan that will be integrated first through virtual reality with the concepts of ideas like the metaverse, which of course slowly and surely will be implementing humanity into a technological smart grid along with smart cities where we have the extreme centralization of power and authority over people's lives. Now this is being branded as living forever, having the ability to be superhuman. But in reality, these superhuman powers, this ability to live on forever will of course not be given to you not be given to any pleb, not be given to any citizen that, of course, the government is mistreating right now, getting rid of their human rights. It will be given to, of course, the people creating it. And when people have that kind of power and authority over others, they are sure to abuse it. What is Elon Musk's role in all of this? Well, he has been warning that artificial intelligence will take over humans in less than five years. He said this in 2020, specifically on July 27th. And according to Vanity Fair, Elon Musk is on a, quote, billion dollar crusade to stop the AI apocalypse. Is Elon Musk doing his best to be ahead of the times to try to help and prevent a potential AI apocalypse, the mismanagement, the misuse of this huge power? Is he the one that's going to, of course, be the one that could stop it or hold it accountable or prevent it from destroying our semblance of, of life? Or is he simply the person implementing it and using misdirection so no one sees the bigger plans and moves ahead. Well, what's the answer to that question? Let me know down in the comment section below. I always appreciate your constructive feedback. I always appreciate your input. And I think th this is a question worth asking. And the best way to come to a conclusion about this larger question is by having an open and honest dialogue, something, of course, that big tech is trying to censor and stop at all cost. Big tech that's also building the latest AI systems. Big tech that is set to gain godlike power and authority over for everyone so who knows maybe maybe that statement might have the the tech overlords punish me for 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 that but that's why we built lukeuncensored.com that's why we're doing our best finding our best trying to inform you with the best information that we can and if you thought we did a good job share this video with your friends and family members i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively watching and sharing this video i got another one coming your way on lukeuncensored.com i love you guys stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org